Stuart, first of all, many congratulations. I think that's number 19 in terms of five wicket hauls for England and the eighth time against Australia. How satisfying is that? Yeah, it was nice to get five. I think we stuck at our task pretty well as a bowling group, to, to be honest. You know, when Stokesy was unable to bowl again, we went back to almost the old school when Swanee was involved and we had the three seamers and spinner. And, um, you know, I, th I think every seamer kept running in as hard as we could all day. You know, I, I look at Mark Wood's last spell, it, I think he deserved two or three in that spell alone. He, he bowled fantastically all day. So, you know, test cricket sometimes is about character, or a lot of the time is about character, and I think it was one of those days that we had to, to keep trucking in. You know, it's Australia's day. You know, I, there was a chance that we could have bowled them out for 350. Um, it didn't quite work for us, but... Uh, it looks like a decent pitch. Yeah, you know, well, there's a bit okay. of uneven bounce, but it looks like a decent okay. pitch. OK, 350 is a bit different to 400, over 400. The lead at the moment is 400. Uh, but how much of a difference does that make, do you think, those 50 runs? Um, I think 400 is always that sort of psychological um, thing on the scoreboard, isn't it? It was never not a nice way to finish with Nathan, Nathan Lyon thumping me into the stand. That's is my only five foot ball that I've got that had to be sanitised because it got thumped into the stand <laughs> with the last ball. Oh, but the modern game. The modern game, yeah. yeah. So, you know, tomorrow's a big day for us on, on this trip. There's no doubt about that. It, the, the pitch isn't um, misbehaving too much. A little bit of uneven bounce with the new ball. But you could see with Kouage today when he applied himself he made it very difficult for us and he could score when he needed to. Australia is a, a style of batting where you need to take a lot of balls. You know, you, there's nothing wrong with, with taking time to get in. Um, and once you're in, you can, you, with, when the ball gets softer, you feel like you can score runs. And, you know, we've got a batting group who have been talking a lot, are desperate to, to stamp a bit of authority in Australia. Tomorrow's a great opportunity to do that. Well, it needs to be taken. Um, I want to come back to you. Um, because the question has to be asked, how much, for instance, today do you think you were making your point and how much were you just doing your job? Uh, all of it doing my job. You know, I think Cookie in the studio will disagree with that. He knows me very well. But, he um, already has, I can you tell know, you that. Um, I, I think when you haven't been playing, mm. um, particularly at 35 years old, you, you realise how special it is to, to play. I've had points in my career where... I felt like I've always been playing and that's not happened in 2021 uh, and it's my job to try and make that happen in 2022 you know it's it's frustrating when you miss out particularly on pitches that you feel like you could have a, a positive influence in but you know not no one here no one's got a, a given right to, to to be in the side you have to earn that and you can only do that with with the right opportunities and my focus when I got picked was, OK, this is, a, this is a great opportunity to play at one of my favourite grounds in the world. It's a great place to play. Can I run in all day, show a lot of heart, and, and what will be will be. So it's nice to get five. I'd have preferred it to, to have been a five for where you bowl Australia out for 250 and you, and you really make a statement that way. But, mm -hmm. you know, it, there might be some more opportunities on this trip to do that. Indeed. I mean, and I know it's probably wrong to look back. Um, but at the same time, in the back of your mind, is there not something that says you'd have liked to have taken five for in the first test match in Brisbane? If you're asking me what I'd like to take five for in the first test match at Brisbane, I would have loved to have taken five for the first test match at Brisbane. Yeah, but, the, you know, that opportunity wasn't presented to me. That's top flight sport. You know, the, you, I think in every sport around the world, there's, there's big decisions to be made on that sort of thing. Um, it didn't fall my way there or, or Melbourne. Um, and I can't do much about that. But what I can do is is try my hardest to be ready if an opportunity comes. I didn't know if it would, you know. It's, um, Robbo's got a bit of a sore shoulder, so an opportunity came my way. And I, uh, my work in Melbourne and Brisbane was was based around trying to take a chance when it comes my way. And I, d I don't think I've particularly grabbed that chance, you know, five for a hundred, you, you're not writing home about, but it, it, I felt like I, I bowled pretty well within the plan of, of the group. And um, I still feel like I've got a lot to offer this team, whether that's playing Every week in, week out, like I did when I was 26, 27, maybe not. But, you know, I, I'm old and experienced enough to know how to bowl on different pitches um, and how to get myself ready and, and right mentally when, when the chances come. And it shows. So congratulations from all of us, including from Alistair and Moen in the studio. Lovely. Thank you. Thank you.